In response to fans' thoughts on Jelly Roll surrogacy plans, Bunny Exo when it comes to her intentions to grow her family with her spouse, Jelly Roll, Bunny Exo has a sharp warning for people who are injecting negativity into the discussion. The pair, who have been married since 2016, declared their intention to become parents to a child last month. Da, on Saturday, July 6, the host of the Dumb Blonde podcast posted a screenshot of a critical Facebook comment. The commenter's name was obscured, but their message, which criticized Bunny for revealing that she and Jelly Roll intended to utilize a surrogate, was clearly evident. The remark implied that instead of going through the natural experience of motherhood, Bunny had opted for the surrogate option in order to maintain her perfect body. This is really revolting. Bunny said on Facebook, You guys think I don't want to carry because of my body lol. The screenshot was posted alongside the message. As the stepmother to Jelly Roll's son and daughter, Bunny clarified that she is afraid of getting pregnant once more. She disclosed that she experienced two ectopic pregnancies and miscarriages, and at her age, she doesn't want to take the chance of experiencing those things again. She also said that their hectic lifestyle does not permit such a drawn-out and unclear procedure, she said in her message, please watch how you say things to people on the internet. You don't walk in their shoes, you haven't faced their struggles, and you only know what we have told you about the journey we've taken. I will no longer be sharing about our trip because of this. White Heart Bunny gave more information on her decision to use a surrogate with Jelly Roll, real name Jason DeFord, in a video that she posted earlier on Saturday from one of her most recent podcast recordings. She disclosed in the video that they started their IVF journey in 2019. Bunny said at the time that she was still figuring out sobriety and that she just wasn't ready. She continued, we are not even the same humans we were in 2019, five years later.